everyone. Welcome to another Mark Harville Art Painting Tutorial. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to be working on this rather large painting. This is a uh, 24 by 48 inches, so it's very long. Um, and I'm going to show you various aspects of this painting along the way. I'm not, go I'm not going to video the entire painting, um, but I do want to kind of show you, kind of pull out specific elements of the painting and uh, show you how I put that together. So I've started with my background already, kind of bringing in my little uh, mountainscape here. Uh, this will be in the far distance um, and I'll keep working on that. What I do want to show you though is I'm putting a castle here in the distance and I want to show you how I put this castle in. So I'm um, going to start here with laying in acrylic. Um, and then as the painting progresses, uh, I will begin to uh, move eventually into my oil palette, but I'm going to lay everything out in acrylics to begin with, but I wanted to first get this, this background laid in, and then I can start bringing in the foreground trees and all the land and everything. So um, if you've not subscribed, please do so. Appreciate your support, and let's jump into this painting. So I started blocking this in. I'm going to continue to do that. Now I've mixed together um, ultramarine blue and white and burnt umber. And I've formed this dark gray color. So let me get this blocked in. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, Fast forward me just blocking everything in in this gray color. Okay, so we've done the initial block in, and I did add um, kind of another coat of paint just to get rid of some of those uh, brush strokes and uh, get it a little bit more solid. Now um, I've come back um, and I've drawn in with my charcoal pencil uh, the outline of the building so that uh, I know kind of where I'm going to be going with this. So. What I'm doing now is uh, we're going to mix up a nice um, kind of a cream color. I'm going to use um, white. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, cad yellow, a little bit of, uh, of orange, and uh, maybe even bring in a little bit of um, yellow ochre. That will kind of create a nice, uh, rich cream color, uh, tannish color, which I want to have for the building. And I'll start laying that in. My sun is going to be coming from the right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start uh, blocking. All right, so what I'll probably end up using, I'll probably end up using my small angle brush. Um, not even sure the size of this thing. It doesn't specify, I don't think, on the handle here. Uh, I'm also going to end up using um, this number 10 over zero uh, 
round brush. So I think those are the two brushes I'll be using for this uh, to start the block in phase. Um, and I'll kind of work from left to right since I'm right handed and I, I don't want to smudge anything. Um, so to start off with, go ahead and start to kind of lay in We're just going to create the, chef, the uh, highlights and we're going to let this underpainting kind of work with us to form shadows uh, as well. Now on the really fine detail, just come in here. With my smaller brush.
put together a, a castle. I'm going to finish out the uh, the hill. There'll be some some shrubbery here, some some boulders, um, and then just kind of work out kind of the rest of the foundation here. So, um, but I wanted to show you uh, how I put together uh, a castle, and um, just going to continue to work on this project. We'll uh, tune back in on a, another segment of, of me putting this together. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in until next time.